Hello Pepperdine! In this video tutorial, we will demonstrate the basics to get you started using some of the many features of Google Calendar. We'll begin with the basic calendar layout of the main calendar view. The default view displays a week at a glance, a quick calendar view, and choices to view other calendars, all of which can easily be adjusted. Expand the calendar view by selecting the main menu icon in the top left, or you can refresh the calendar by clicking the Pepperdine or Calendar logo. To the right, you have a Today button, which returns the calendar view to the current day's date if you have clicked away to a day in the future or in the past. Next, you can use the navigation arrows to move the calendar view forward or backward. Moving across the top, click the search icon to open a simple or advanced search within all of your active calendars. Next, you can select different view options for day, week, month, year, and schedule, or agenda view along with a custom view that can be determined in the calendar settings. Click the gear icon to view what's in your calendar's trash, change the display density and color, print the current view of the calendar, and access extensive help features. For now, click Settings. Along the left side of the screen, you can select one of the general settings to jump to that setting, or simply scroll up and down. Starting at the top, you can select Language and Region, add a time zone, and enable the world clock if desired. Event settings allow you to set the default duration of meetings along with other event options. And in the View Options section, you can choose how to view weekends, declined events, or past events. A very useful feature I recommend selecting is to view calendars side by side in day view. This should already be selected for you, but if you have changed it previously, you might consider giving it another try. You can also select the day when your week begins and also set your custom view, which I mentioned previously. And there's a few other settings you may wish to explore. Additionally, you have an add calendar selection to add a new calendar, browse other resources, or add alternate calendars. Further down are the settings for your specific calendar. By selecting a specific calendar, you can modify the access permissions, share the calendar with specific people, and set default event notifications. If you'd like to remove a calendar, you can do that here as well. Changes to settings save automatically, so let's hop back out to the calendar and go over how to create an event. Click once anywhere on the calendar, and you can begin editing a quick event. Start by adding a title, selecting a date and time, or changing the calendar selection. You may wish to select Save at this point to create the event, or select the More options to open the full event details, or by selecting the Create Event icon in the bottom right corner of the screen. In the Event Details, enter the event title, select the needed date and time, or add a time zone if needed. You can set an event to All Day, or create a custom reoccurrence for the event you are creating. In the Event Details section, you may add a location as well as add conferencing using Google Hangouts for the meeting event. And you may choose other options for notifications, selecting another calendar or the visibility selections. And importantly, you can add a description and attachments to the event that will be visible to all of the event participants. Click on Add Guests to enter the guest names or choose from frequent contacts. There's also a great time-saving feature called Suggested Times where Google will search the guest list for an open time that works for all participants. Additionally, there's a find a time selection to view the next available time slot for all participants. When finished, select Save to add that event to your calendar. If you have added guests, this will prompt you to send this invitation to your guests. There is even an undo notification at the bottom of the calendar view to undo that action if you change your mind or need to make another edit. To view an event summary, Single click on the event and you can see all the event details. Additionally, you can respond to the meeting. You can also edit from here, remove the event from the calendar along with other options to print, duplicate and copy to other calendars. You can also right click an event to quickly join the meeting, delete it or even change the color. And to go into full edit mode, simply double click on the event or any time slot to make an edit change or create a new event. At this point, it's important to note the difference between My Calendars and Other Calendars. My Calendars include calendars that you've created or have the ability to share. 
Other calendars include a mix of public and shared calendars that you can view, add, or edit, but not share. For all the listed calendars, there are choices to display, hide, or view the settings of the calendar. To view a shared calendar, select the checkbox or boxes adjacent to that other calendar. Those shared calendars will overlay your calendar for you to view any available time slots for yourself and those selected. Another helpful feature is the ability to add a quick view of coworker schedules to your other calendars. This is great when you have coworkers that you regularly meet with and don't want to open a meeting request to check if someone is available at a given time. You can remove a calendar from other calendars by selecting unsubscribe. And finally, to learn more about Google Calendar and its many features, click on the link below to navigate to the IT website for more advanced calendar training options. That's it, and thank you for watching.